what is a host in computer science? You hear hostess, host at, get hosting. Where is it hosted? What's the host address? A lot of times you hear that word. When you're trying to connect to a database, the first thing you need to know is the host of the database. When you want to make an API call, the first thing you need to, to know is the URL, which is pretty much the host. So what does that mean? Or when you want to uh, build a website or you want to run an existing website, you want to install a website, the first thing you need to do is get a hosting, right? Rent some rent some service for hosting. Where is the, What are you going to host it? And that just means a computer where the computer, the software lives. Where is that application going to run? If you're talking about a database host, there is some kind of computer where the database server is installed and it is running, so it is hosted. Think of it like your house when you're hosting a guest. You have a guest and you're the host. It's your house. They come in there and they stay there. So the same thing, like you have a computer, a server. Like usually it's a server, it's bigger ones in the cloud. Usually it's virtual, virtual VPS, right? virtual private servers. So basically just a machine where you take your stuff, you take your code, your application, and it will just run. That's really what a host is. And a host has an address and the address is IP address. Every computer, every server has an IP address. That's a location. That's how you get to that machine. It's literally just like a street address for us that every machine has an IP address. A lot of times when you connect to like APIs and databases, there will be a name. There will be like database.supersqa.com, right? API.supersqa.com. That name eventually is going to map into an IP address. There is something in the middle called DNS that's going to look up the name and match it to the IP address because computers don't have names. Computers don't know words like we do, right? There is no name. So in the middle, when you say something, when you give it database.superscue.com, the DNS is going to say, oh, you're trying to get to IP address some number and it's going to basically point you there. So a host is nothing but a computer. Once you get to the computer, then you need to access that computer. You need to access that application through a port. So you gotta know the combination of host and port. And on the next video, I'm gonna explain host and port and how they work together. My name is Armas Kunfu. I teach QA automation and I help manual testers upgrade to automation testing or I help Beginners get into the tech industry and get a career in engineering. I run superSQA.com where I have a bunch of courses and a community. So you should check it out. And if you do want to become QA Automation, uh, talk to me or just enroll in my community and let's work together.